Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to swatch and show you lip swatches and give you a review of Milani's new Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stains. I've had a couple of requests to do a review video for this, so here it is. Thank you so much for subscribing. Click that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, and you can go over to Instagram and follow over there if you aren't already. If you didn't see my last video, that was for a new set of lip products by e.l.f., and they are sort of similar to the new lip oil click sticks from NYX. So I swatch all those and give you a comparison. I'll link that in the upper right hand corner for you to check out. Always check the description box. I put in there where you can find these to purchase online if you're curious. They're gonna range from somewhere in the ballpark of 10 to $14, just depending on where you purchase these. You have a total of six shades in this new range, so I will show all of those to you in this video. Milani describes these as lip color that is low maintenance, made with hydration-rich hyaluronic acid and plant-based squalene. The cushy high comfort formula applies with a glossy shine that transforms into a semi-matte tint as it dries down. The formula should never be sticky, it's non-drying, and is supposed to deliver up to eight hours of stain power, hydration, and comfortable wear. The formula is cruelty-free and vegan. Here is the list of ingredients, so you can check it out for yourself. We do see flavor or aroma at the very end, so I'll let you know my thoughts about what it smells like after testing. The weather is super windy right now, so you might be able to hear it in the background. Um, these are what the tubes look like. They have caps with this geometric uh, design and the caps are colored differently to give you an idea of what the color is going to be like that you get from the product itself. Otherwise it is um, opaque plastic packaging. The doe foot applicators are pointed doe foot applicators. You can see the shade numbers and names on the bottom of the tubes. For the price, you're gonna get 0.17 fluid ounces or 5.29 milliliters of product. So here's 110 Mauve Mentality, described as a mauve pink. I describe this as a mauve berry shade. One twenty mahogany mommy described as a reddish brown. One thirty is rose rising. Described as a dusty rose. One forty is pink about it. Described as a vibrant pink. One fifty, that's fire. Described as a fiery red. And one sixty, bitten berry. Described as a deep berry. Here are the six swatches right after application. Got that glossy finish. The scent is sort of like a 
cakey, vanilla-y type of scent. Wouldn't say it's super strong. Here are the shades up close. It's interesting that you get that translucence. So I'm gonna do something a little different. I'll give you a swipe test just to show you. See the surface will smear off like a gloss, but since it's a stain, if you blot this color off, that's kind of the color you're gonna get left behind. I personally love products like this that leave the stain behind. Speaking of stains, the CoverGirl released after a decade or two of their uh, lip marker stains. They've released a new version. I'll link that in the upper right hand corner for you to check out. But this is kind of the uh, color that you're going to get left behind, which I think is fantastic. So here's more up close what you expect after the glossy part wears off. Sorry for some lingering <laughs> tissue on there. And then to give you an idea of how durable this stain is, I'm going in with a makeup wipe. I'm pressing pretty hard. So definitely gives you a nice level of staying power behind. So quickly, a couple new products I've been using. One is from Nukes Paris, the multi-purpose dry oil for face, body, and hair. It smells delicious. You can spritz it into your hair. You can also mix it as a body oil. I don't use this on my face because of the fragrance, but I really like it to nourish my strands, make them look shiny. And then a new skincare product by Clinique, the Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Serum. It has peptides in it, squalane, algae extract, easily mixes into other skincare your products if you want or you can layer it by itself in its own layer has no fragrance from what I can tell and because of the dimethicone they put in here it actually visually gives you a smoothing and kind of mattifying effect too so you can see from the swatches I showed you what the products look like right after they're applied if you want to wear them as a gloss but also the stain each leaves behind so I really like this product because you're getting kind of that double uh, effect for your money both as a glossy finish and then that lasting color behind even after the product wears off. That stain is going to be long lasting so it really helps give you some color even if the product itself has come off of the lips throughout the day. In applying, I really didn't notice the scent. I actually noticed it more when swatching, uh, but once I was testing them out on the lips, I didn't even notice or pick up on the fact that it kind of has that smell. They applied pretty easily. The narrow doe fit applicator really helps with that. So overall, I am impressed. I appreciate this product. I think it's a good choice. Milani doesn't tend to bring out as many products as I feel like other drugstore brands do, but when they do release something, I tend to really like what they release. So this is no exception. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you had a favorite color, let me know too. I hope this video was helpful to you if you were eyeing this product. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you in the next video.